All right, so deep dives. You know I love them. But I got to admit, photo magnets, not exactly something I expected to be fascinating. But then you sent me that stuff about photo magnet and, well, color me intrigued. Who knew there was so much to this? It's funny how something so, I don't know, every day can have all this history behind it. You know, like we slap them on the fringe without a second thought. But it really gets at something pretty deep about how we as humans hold on to memories, making them like real, you know, tangible. 100%. Okay, so speaking of history, and you know I'm a sucker for a good blast from the past. My childhood fridge was like this monument to uh, blurry vacation photos all stuck in those plastic covered magnets. When did this whole thing even start? This obsession with putting photos on everything? Pinpointing the exact birth of the photo magnet is tricky. Like most things, it's kind of a it's kind of a perfect storm of trends. Like you mentioned, your childhood fridge, right? Mm -hmm. Refrigerators became a thing, a thing in homes around the mid 20th century. Everyone gathered there. At the same time, you had color photography taking off, and printing got cheaper, smaller. Suddenly, everyone's snapping pictures and they want to show them off. And where better than the fridge? Right, prime real estate. But here's where things get interesting. This photo magnet company. Their whole approach is so, I don't know now, customizable shapes, sizes, the works. It's next level photo magnets. Exactly. And I think what they're onto is bigger than just, well, magnets. It's this whole thing about personalization. Mm -hmm. We're seeing it everywhere. People are over mass produced everything. They want things that are unique to tell their story, personalized phone cases, custom sneakers, even those, what are they called, Spotify wrapped playlists. Yeah. It's all about me, myself, and I these days. And photo magnet, they're just tapping into that. It's about showcasing those memories, but making it, you know, you. And they're big on quality, from what I gathered. The printing, the materials, these things are built to last. Right, because you're entrusting them with your memories. Hmm. No one wants a faded, blurry photo of grandma after a couple of months. Yeah. By focusing on that, the quality, they're saying, hey, these aren't just throwaway things. They're keepsakes, you know? Yeah. Little pieces of time you can hold on to. You know, this whole conversation has got me thinking, why do we plaster photos all over our fridges anyway? I mean, beyond just, oh, that's a nice memory. Is there something more going on there? Oh, for sure. <laughs> Think about it like these little memory triggers, right? Each one's a snapshot, literally, of some event, feeling, person. Every time you open the fridge, it's like scrolling through, I don't know, a real-life highlight reel. And they are, let's be honest, total conversation starters. I mean, who hasn't had a guest go, oh, my God, is that you in that insert embarrassing childhood photo here exactly it's social psychology 101 you're putting yourself out there yes. inviting people to interact to share and sharing stories memories that's how we bond how we feel connected it's almost like a counter movement to how digital everything's become wouldn't you say i mean we have thousands of photos trapped in our phones but a photo magnet it's just dot different it's out in the open sparking joy and maybe a little embarrassment every time you see it that's a really interesting point. In this world of like digital overload, there's something to be said for something tangible. We crave that physical connection to our past. Like people still love printed photo albums, handwritten letters. Mm -hmm. It's that same thing. Pixels on a screen just hit different, you know. I've got to say, this deep dive has been a real eye opener. Photo magnets. Never thought I'd say this, but they're kind of deep. Right makes you think next time you see one just i don't know take a second what's the story behind it what feeling does it evoke and in this digital age what role do these little physical things play in how we hold on to what matters